Hi everybody, I'm Rob Zaleski, guest blogger on StarHall.com, and I'm sitting outside on a beautiful Austin afternoon. And today I'd actually like to talk a little bit about LinkedIn and a feature that I think is really cool but is highly underutilized, uh, and it's called the Projects feature. And it allows you to show off some of the work that you've done while also strengthening the connections that you have on LinkedIn. So we're gonna talk a little bit about how to set that up, how to add it onto your profile, and use it as a way for gaining and increasing connections on LinkedIn. Let's check it out. Now, there are actually three different ways that you can add projects to your profile. I'm going to walk you through the first two and then go all the way with the third one because I can't actually do the first two since I've already done it to my profile. But for the first one, which is the way that I actually found this feature, you're going to go to your profile and you're going to go to Edit Profile. Now, right here where you see the Share Profile button, yours should actually say Improve Profile. When you click that, the first couple things it'll probably have you do is add information to old jobs that maybe you didn't fill out all the way, some other incomplete information on your account, but you can either do those or skip past those and eventually it should give you the option to add a project. And then when you click that, it'll actually take you to the screen that I'll show you in a little bit that will actually allow you to enter all the information uh, that will lead people to the site where you have your project and uh, give them the information that you put in there. And so that is the first way to do it, and that's the way that I've, I found it. Um, but obviously I can't do it now that I've already done it. And so then we'll go on to the next one. Now, the second way to add projects to your profile is to scroll down in the Edit Profile screen, and just below your main information, you're going to see this area that says New, Add Sections to Reflect Achievements and Experiences to your profile. If you click on Add Sections, It'll bring up a box with a lot of different options of ways you can customize your LinkedIn profile. Under sections, you'll actually see an area that says projects. Of course, I've already added those to mine, so I'm not going to have that option. But you'll also see some other really great ways that you can connect with people on LinkedIn. Uh, organizations is a great one. If you're not already connected with people that you were in organizations with in college or in the community, this is a great way to reach out and make new connections. Publications are great for grad students. You're always working with other grad students and professors. This is an awesome way to say, hey, when we worked on this, I want to connect with you uh, because we were collaborators on this publication and increase the number of connections that you have. Now I'm going to close out of here because obviously I can't do anything with that. And we're going to go on to the third and final way that you can add projects to your profile. Now the third way to add a project to your profile is actually how you add more once you've added an initial project. So if you scroll down below all of your work experience, you'll actually see a section called Projects. As you can see, I've already added my blog and a couple of guest contributions that I've done. And once I actually get some more contributors to my blog, I'll add them on as collaborators. At the top here, you see Add a Project. Once you click that, it's going to take you to the screen where you can enter all the information. So for the sake of this, we'll just call this Rob's blog. You can actually associate it with a past or present job. So we'll say that this is associated with my current job at Main Street Hub. You are by default a team member, but you can add more team members to this as well. So let's just say for the sake of this that Star Hall stopped by and dropped a blog post on my blog. And then Another example, we can just say, we'll call this John Doe. If I'm not a connection with somebody on LinkedIn, this will actually show up as plain text when we save it. And I'll show you that in a second. And so we'll put the URL in here, which is mineRobZ-BlogZ.blogspot.com. We'll call this an ongoing project because I'm hoping it doesn't end anytime soon and I just started my blog back in February of this year and for the sake of this we'll just say Rob's blog is awesome because I like to think so now when you go down here and click add project it's gonna put it on your profile and when we scroll down here you'll see I've added the information and my name stars actually come up as hyperlinks to the profile pages and the one that I was not a connection with just comes up as plain text. Now you want to use this as an opportunity to reach out to people that you're not connected with. If they're on LinkedIn, use this as an ability to say, hey, I'm adding this to my profile. We worked on this together. Let's become a connection. Also, 
you'll find that this now becomes a link to your own project, or in my case, this blog. So you really want to use that and make sure that you have that, that correct in there because that can be easy hits to your blog, to your project, to whatever collaboration it is that you're adding on to your profile. So that is how you add a project to your LinkedIn profile. Uh, feel free to email me with any questions, robzaleski1 at gmail.com, or send me a message on LinkedIn. And also feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn, and um, let's get working on some more projects. Thanks for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon. Now go get your social on.